Today's project is a slide dresser. I found it on my local marketplace and it actually came in two parts. It was sitting outside when I got it, but I saw some potential in it. So I brought it home. First thing I did is started stripping the top. I'm using clean strip. I'm just going to apply it, let it set, then just use a putty knife and take it off. Then I'll use some very fine steel wool and some mineral spirits just to get the residue off. Now this piece, one of the main reasons I got it was this really cool base. So I decided I wanted to strip it down. So I applied the stripper and um, I did a lot to it. So you can see all those little intricate pieces. So I started out by stripping it and that got some of it off. And then I had to sand it. I ended up, there's so many little intricate parts on it. I ended up getting out my Dremel and very carefully used it to sand. You have to be real careful because Dremels can be very uh, aggressive. So I had to be very careful with it, but it was able to get into some of those areas. It was really difficult. And then um, you'll see, I ended up bleaching it as well. So I'm just going to use some lacquer thinner. I'm just going to get a final clean after all of that sanding. And it really wasn't quite what I was looking for. So I decided to use some wood bleach. This is oxalic acid. You just mix it with hot water and you apply it and let it set. You can do a couple different rounds if you need to. And then after you're done, you want to make sure you rinse it really well to stop the bleaching process. But it worked really well. And so after... Um, I was able to use the bleaching. I didn't even stain it. I just simply sealed it. And you'll see it turned out really good. As you can see, this came in two different parts. So it was just nailed on. That's why it just came right off. So I applied wood glue and then I um, was able to screw it in from the bottom there and really get it nice and secure. Then I moved on to the hardware. The hardware 
is beautiful. It just needed a really good polish. So I always soak it and then I clean it with Barkeeper's Friend. And then I moved on to the drawers. I did go ahead and paint the drawers. And then I decided on all those little moldings to apply a little bit of gold wax just to kind of set them off. I'm going to restain the top. I'm going to start with a layer of shellac and then I'm going to do gel stain over that and then I will seal it out with a satin high performance top coat by General Finishes. The last step is lining all of the drawers with a really nice peel and stick wallpaper just for a final touch. I'll have all of the products linked in the description. Now it's time to get it all staged up. I like to put it against a nice white wall, put up my garage door. Here's the before. You can tell it needed a lot of work. It was in two pieces. Here's the final product. Isn't that base beautiful? So much work, so much sanding. But I did take the back off on the front and I think it was good. Um, I, I love this color. This is Junket by Melange Paints. And I decided just to do some simple gold wax, just highlighting some of those beautiful details. Um, you can see there's a few little details underneath um, the top, but then the, and I love the wood top. I think it turned out really well. Um, that hardware is gorgeous and I cannot believe it. This is a sly and I had to look it up. It's a really old piece, but in fabulous condition. Um, can you believe that hardware? It's just gorgeous. Probably my favorite pe favorite part of it is probably that base, even though it was so much work. It was completely worth it. I love it. Like I said, all I did is just simply seal it with a nice flat sealer. So I just kind of kept it raw looking. I think it turned out really good. Tell me what you think.